Right guys, so we are going to be discussing one of the adversary modes, well the only adversary mode for this week's GTA Online event would be in the power play. Now this isn't going to be just based on the fact that it's event week. This is also going to be a little tips and tricks for if you ever do end up playing it during any other week. Um, because this is a, after playing it, this is a very fun, it's actually really enjoyable. So basically just to you know set it off, it is basically just a like a four on four or however many people you've got. Um deathmatch. Just a just a standard deathmatch, you go around killing each other, well each other team member. However, the power play part comes in two ver um various pickups that you can do. Um you have got, I'm not sure how many, I didn't set it up, so I don't know if you can have four teams or if it's only two teams, but whatever. I think it might only be two teams going by what happens with the pickups. So basically, you've got various pickups that are available to pick up during each round. And as you go on through the rounds, some more pickups will become available. You have got, for example, I was on the purple team, so you have got any pickups that are purple will affect your team. So you've got um, ones that are in focus. I'm not really sure what that does to the opposition. Um, but you've got ones that focus, which slows everything down. You've got the beast, which comes into play a little bit on during the match, not straight from the beginning, otherwise that would be a bit unfair. Um, and it's I can't I can't really remember all of them, but yeah, you got some there. The pickups that are coloured in the team that you are fighting against will affect them. So you have got a switch one, which will make all the members of the other team's control inverted. So if you have to look up to look up, you look up and it goes down, or vice versa. Um, you've also got I can't remember what it's called, but it makes the opponent's team um, vision very blurry or like lens flary, so you can't actually see much. But that doesn't really it doesn't really do anything when there is lock on. Um, but there are various other different types of pickups that you can get that can affect the match in different ways. There are obviously also, I think, six or seven. Um, maps for this as well. This one being that I did was on the aircraft carrier. Now, if you're doing the aircraft carrier, you cannot go anywhere else other than the top deck. If you try and go below, you'll be out of the game zone. You can go inside the aircraft carrier, but you cannot go any further than the stairs because it is blocked. So you, 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 you can only go on the top. You can't use any of the vehicles either even though they're there they're literally just there for um, cosmetics along with the missiles and rockets that are on the decks as well you can shoot them and they can blow up the beast mode comes into play about I'm gonna say I mean we were doing it for 10 minutes so I don't know if it's the longer the match the longer it takes for it to appear or it will only appear at however many minutes regardless if you have it so if you've only got over five minutes and it appears at six you won't get it I'm not too sure but we did it for ten minutes and about I'm gonna say halfway through the match um, it turned well halfway through the round it turned up um, but that will turn you into the beast obviously but it does give you a little bit of a transformation animation um, and then the controls are basically the same as they would be for the hunt the beast mode in free roam where you move you run quite quickly and if you hold the left trigger down when jumping you jump higher there is a timer for all these um, pickups as well the beast does have the longest timer however if you are jumping in the air and you jump at the right time and you transform back into your normal self while in midair you will not take full damage from that. So if you're in midair and you transform back to yourself, you hit the ground, you're not going to take any damage. However, you won't land on your feet. So if you if you land on well, if you land right next to someone, they could have a shotgun, 
kill you straight away. So if you think you're going to land, or if you think you're going to transform back mid-air, try and land not near someone, I guess. Um, but really, there's not really much to say about this. I mean... It's kind. I mean, it's basically just a normal death match, just with some pickups on it. Um, I will give you a little bit of a hint on how to defeat the beast. He is killable by bullets. Um, however, he can't. Well, he can climb, but I'll explain. Basically, if you are standing on a box, he the only weapons he's got he can only punch he can't use guns he can only hit you he can only use melee attacks so if you stand on a box he won't be able to get you yes he'll be able to climb up but if you see him trying to climb up you'll have the amount of time it takes for him to climb to jump off the box and just start shooting him again and then as soon as he gets down you just jump back on the box again and you start shooting him most likely you're going to have two maybe three other people by you um, all spraying him with bullets obviously still go for the head um, however it does take significantly longer to kill him obviously it wouldn't be as much of a good power up if it took the same amount of time as a normal person but I mean you start off with weapons you start off with a pretty decent amount of weapons um, there are weapon pickups you get the standard pistols shotgun and assault rifles um, however, there are heavy weapons on the on the uh, on the map that spawn, along with additional like machine guns and assault rifles that also spawn. When you pick up a rocket launcher, it only has one rocket in it, so use it wisely. Um, but um, I mean that's pretty much it to be honest it like I said is basically just a standard deathmatch but with pickups so it makes it a little bit more fun and you m and honestly do make use of the time that you've got with the two time no is it two or three I can't remember which one it is whichever one it is make use of the money bonus that it is until Thursday because I did this I think it was four rounds and I got two hundred thousand dollars Yes, it took a while because all the people from the other team left and we were sat for 10 minutes waiting around for this guy to, well, we, we were basically, I mean, I admire his determination. He didn't just quit. He stuck around for all four rounds. So, but this is one of them ones that do help with, um, like, teams. So, if you got... A group of eight people eight mates you all know each other you're all on a party or whatever with each other do the whole tactic of taking turns to win a round because if it's first to win like four and you do it for each then that's like that's more that's a lot of money that you're gonna be winning so I mean one of the rounds I think we got 40,000 so yeah that I'd say take advantage of this while you can do teams on it obviously the more people you've got in the game the more money you're gonna get the less people you got the less money you're gonna get but it's fun anyway so if this video was helpful in any way please leave a like obviously leave a comment if you have done it or if you're going to if you've done it already, what's your experiences, what's any of your little tips and hiding spots, what your favourite map is. And if you haven't done it already and you are going to, make sure you come back, leave a comment on what it is that you enjoyed about the well, about it or what you didn't enjoy. And obviously if you do go ahead and continue to enjoy, then do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified in any future videos or updates I unleash onto the channel. And I will see you all in the next one.